Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the grading system and the belt system, all the way from white belt all the way through to getting your first step, straight after the intro. Hi, I'm Chris, uh, the founder and main instructor at Creative Ways Taekwondo. My team of instructors and I help teach adults and children how to do Taekwondo and other important life skills. Hi guys, so I've literally just finished teaching a Taekwondo lesson on Zoom today and I thought I'd quickly jump on and do my video and go through some of the questions that I get from a lot of new starters is um, what belts are they and what's the system? How does it all work? This is how the belt system works in World Taekwondo, which is WT used to be WTF, but for some reason they, they changed the name to WT. I can't think why. WTF. Anyway. Okay, so how our belt systems work. We start, everyone starts on a white belt when you first start as a beginner. Okay, so you've already got your white belt. So you first grade in, you would go for your yellow tag. Then you'd go for your yellow belt. Then you'd go for your green tag. Then you would go for your green belt. Then your blue tag. Then blue belt. Then red tag. Then red belt. Then black tag. Okay, so we've done 10 gradings to get up to your black tag. When you do your black tag, you're gonna then do your grading for your black belt. Okay, so those, those grades are called cup grades. So white belt all the way up to a black tag is a cup grade. Starts from number 10, so white belt is a 10th cup, and a, a red belt with a black tag is a first cup. Once you pass your black belt grading, then you become first dan. So the next question I get asked is, how often can you grade? So in our club, we grade between every three to four months, um, and we find that that's a fairly, a fairly good time for most people when they're first starting out, three to four months, uh, to be able to work through those belt systems. Some people grade a little bit quicker, some people want to take a little bit longer. Okay, There's really no race um, within the club, there's no pressure for, for people to do their gradings, um, so it's all kind of student-centric really, and, and what works for them best. One of the other things that happens within the club sometimes is double grades. So people can double grade where you jump or skip a belt essentially, where you've um, surpassed the expectations for that belt. This sometimes happens because either people's ability is really good or it happens where they maybe miss the grading or miss two gradings potentially um, and have, have basically completed a high, a high pass within their grading. Um, and it's happened before in our club where people have double graded twice um, and actually happened once where people have double graded three times um, during the, the, their grading. So, um, but it is quite a, really, really is quite a rare thing uh, within our club anyway. Okay, the next question I get asked is about the gradings, how they work, what happens. So at our club we have a, uh, an external examiner that comes in. I, I'm not a high enough grade yet to uh, conduct my own grading, so I'm third down. You need to be a fourth down to be able to conduct your own gradings. But even once I get to my fourth down, I think I'm probably still going to get someone externally to come in to do my gradings. Um, and there's quite a lot of reasons for that that I'll go into later on. So we get Grandmaster uh, Neil Guest, who comes in and does our gradings. Um, he's eighth Dan, and we've got uh, I've got a really good relationship now with Neil, and he comes, he knows all the students well, and it's really good to kind of get his feedback as well um, on on their their performances, and it's great for my students as well to kind of make the day feel that extra bit special, if you like, because there's someone else externally coming to to assess them. So. Um, yeah, for me, I'm, I think I'm going to carry on with, with that even when I get to my fourth down for that reason, really, because it really does make that day a little bit more special. For One question I get asked quite regularly is how long does it take to get your black belt? As I said in previous videos, it all depends on the individual. Some people have, have got really good ability and will go through their grading system really quickly, and double graded potentially a couple of times, um, and they'll get their down grading within, could be three years, could be four years, could be less. Um, and others sometimes take a little bit longer and could take up to four, five, maybe even six years. Um, but like I said before, there's never any pressure within the club to grade. And um, I don't know that many people that are always in that much of a rush to kind of get their bang grading either. So um, yeah, it all depends is the answer. So Creative Waste Like Wondo has a, a syllabus in place and it's all set out for each grade uh, within our kind of members area, within Facebook and a private closed group. We've got videos for all of the syllabus, 
so people can practice in their own time. We've also got a PDF version of all of the syllabus that all of our students can download, save to their computer or a tablet, um, or they can have a printed copy if they like, to, what, to tell them everything that they need to learn before they go for their grading. We also make sure we do a pre-grading before every grading. So we just run through everything in the grading for that grade for the individual, usually in groups of around three of the same grades. And that way it gives them our students a little bit more um, individual feedback, more exactly what they need to work on. And it also gives me a real insight as to whether or not I feel they're gonna be ready to grade. Another thing that happens on a regular basis is people come from other martial arts or other Taekwondo clubs um, and may not be the same style. So there might be a high grade within a different martial art or they might be from a, a different style of Taekwondo and wanna come and join WT style. And for those people, we do generally do like assessments for. So they'd come along, do a grading, have an assessment, and then get giving us given a certain grade if they're depending on the, the level and the ability, and then they'd start from that that basis. So what happens when you get to black belt? Well, that's first down. So you can continue learning Taekwondo, you can continue with the syllabus. There's syllabus for second down, third down, fourth down, all the way up to ninth down. Okay, so there's no, it's not like you get a black belt and that's it is finished. That's really, for, for me anyway, when I first started Taekwondo, when I first got my, my Dan grading and I passed my black belt, really, that's, for me, that's when Taekwondo started because kind of you've learned all the basics to a, an okay standard and then for me, a black belt was then honing those, those basics into um, basically better, better techniques and improving those and getting into a position where then you can learn how to kind of pass those, those techniques and that knowledge on to others. So, for me, that's the kind of journey that, that I'm on really, is to pass it, on, pass it on to others. So it's not just get your black belt and, and that's it. Okay, there's always always other things that you can do um, in the future past your, your first down. Right guys, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know if you have any specific questions down in the comments. If you'd like any more information about Creative Waste Life Wondo, down in the description is the web address. Have a look in there. And I'm gonna keep creating new ways to grow, educate, and develop. Thanks for watching.